Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep final mix playthrough. So, we finished off Disney Town in the last part. We could go back and do all the minigames if we wanted to, but... <laughs> no. Um, it's just not happening. Um, what I am going to do, though, is uh, put some of our stickers in, because, you know, we haven't done that in a little while. Um, and I just want to try and uh, make sure everything's in the best place it can be, really. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get a good score. It's Once again, what's going to end up happening is that I'm going to end up in um, a place where I'm just shy of getting the top, top score on this. Um, Right at the end, and then I had to do a bit of footsing around to get them in the right bloody places to get the, the best score. But, um, yeah. It's it's a bit annoying. I wish that there was a, a better way, or at least a more consistent way, of succeeding with these. I mean, there is sort of a general positioning that they want you to be in. So, like, Huey, um, Dewey and Louie need to be up in the air. Um, the fireworks need to be sort of either side of the stage, the ice cream needs to be above Ven, and so on and so forth, but there's still a general lack of consistency in terms of where things should be in terms of getting the highest score, but there we go. And yeah, that just looks like an absolute hodgepodge. But there we go, I mean... <laughs> I had sort of the cool idea of going, well, clearly it's Mickey throwing Huey, Dewey and Louie up into the air, but it's it's kind of not. Um, and then it was just like, oh, I know, I'll put Mickey carrying either Chip or Dale. I don't know which one of the two that is. I can never tell the difference between the bloody pair. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wish I was getting a few more points out of this than I am. In the oh, there we go. That's, that's a slightly better one. I'll go for 61p. Um, certainly higher than I was getting before, and then I just need to make sure that I put in the... Why are you not putting in the other fireworks? How did you miss the other fireworks past me? What planet are you on? <laughs> oh, God. When you look back at previous gameplay, you're just like, what? Just You see things that you missed the first time around, and you're just like, this... How stupid... Can you be? But there we go. It's time for us to visit Olympus Coliseum. Which is just going to be delightful because one of the things, well, basically Ven's entire arc for the second half of the game is uh, friendship and trying to figure out friendship. And. Yeah, I, I do quite like Ben's trip to Olympus Coliseum. Because it's just really quite sweet and fun. And I think it helps that Herc and Zack are just such enjoyable characters. And having Ven there to kind of bounce off of that is just a really fun uh, idea. And it's definitely, I would say, probably probably the most fun um, of the trips to the Olympus Coliseum. And, um, yeah, once again, Phil's uh, tendency to not say the right number of syllables. But he says, two words for you, and he does, like, six. I mean, the hilarious thing with that one is that I'm pretty sure that it, in the original film, he says, I've got two words for you, uh, I am retired. Um, and while obviously that's completely incorrect in English, um, in Greek, I am retired is only two words and therefore it's correct. I don't know whether, you know, they followed that through into the Kingdom Hearts franchise. It's not something that I've actually paid that much attention to. But it is still a fun quirk. But yeah, as I said, I do just really quite like this trip to Olympus Coliseum. It's light, good-hearted fun. And I mean, ultimately, most of what Ven's second half is, is just 
light-hearted fun until you get to, you know, the, the final moments of the game where obviously tragedy is going to befall everybody. Um, in some ways you could perhaps see it as maybe being a little bit fillery in comparison to uh, Terrors and Aqua stories. Although well, actually, really, to be fair, for all of them, the second half of the game is ultimately a little bit more fillery. And it's not something that I've necessarily paid much attention to until now, and just sort of thinking about it a little bit deeper. Um, because not really a whole lot happens in this um, three world cycle. Um, the next time you get any real development is in the penultimate world of the game, Neverland. And that's the same for everybody. I mean, I suppose in a way you could see that as something to go against Birth by Sleep, but the fact that I've only realised that on thinking a bit harder about how this all ties together, um, I just guess just shows that really Birth by Sleep does an excellent job of making the filler that it does have not feel like filler. I mean, really if you think about it, most Kingdom Hearts games have filler in the Disney world because that's just sort of how it rolls, they're telling the story of the Disney world rather than um, anything else. Either way, so I'm gonna watch both of this is quite a fun cutscene. Then I'll decide which of you rookies I want to train. Sweet! Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go sign up right now. The games, huh? Sounds fun. Sorry, kid. Captain Eager there just took the last spot. I don't understand. Phil, I, I thought you were my trainer. You want to be a true hero, Herc? Then you're gonna have to go out there and show me that everything I taught you so far is gonna pay off. But, Phil... Oh, and no more training sessions for a while. Wouldn't be fair if I helped you and not him. Hey, cheer up. So you gotta fight a couple of matches, no big deal. I'm Ventus. You want me to help you train? You'd really do that for me? Sure. Thanks, Ventus. I'm Hercules. Herc for short. Just call me Ven. You're gonna do fine. Thanks. I'm gonna head over to the Colosseum and warm up. Meet me in the vestibule, okay? Oh, it's nice to see our little Ven Ven making friends. You know, after he fell out with his two besties, because he's actually a raging idiot. <laughs> yeah. You look back at that kind of that, that whole situation in Radiant Guards and you're just like, just 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 what were you doing? But it's all good and I have to say I do love having um Super Glide. It just makes you get around the area so much faster. And uh ooh, I I've just realised that we've uh, completely filled out all of our uh, D-Links anyway. I don't know why I didn't think, oh, let's just go for Mickey and get my double experience points because, you know, that would be the smart thing to do. But I suppose I was potentially thinking I want to see some of the um, other command styles that I've unlocked, perhaps, maybe a little bit. Mm. Sometimes the decisions I make are not always the most logical in the world. I try my best. But looking back on them, sometimes I'm really like, eh. What I do not find questionable, however, are the fact that this is my first kind of sitting down to do Kingdom Hearts commentary after E3 2018 and just, oh my god, all the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers. <sighs> yes, I, I just, I just in love already. From the fact that Frozen's gotten in, which I mean I sort of knew it was going to be anyway, but I'm so happy that it has done. The fact that Pirates of the Caribbean is coming back is just like, duh, 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 what the hell? But I love it. And um, then also some of the uh, little bits and bobs that were revealed kind of tie quite a lot into um, Birth by Sleep here. And yes, I, I think there was a collective moment where the internet lost its mind. 
uh, the Kingdom Hearts 3. And, um, really, it just means that I, I, I need to speed up, I suppose, in terms of doing my playthroughs on Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it's coming out sooner rather than later, and I kind of need to, kind of need to, you know, finish off the series properly, like, of course I'm covering Kingdom Hearts 3, what do you take me for? Um, but that doesn't mean that I need to do Dream Drop Distance. And, to be fair, um, 0.2 Birth by Sleep, Volume 2, because that's clearly a very important thing as well. Probably won't do the, um, the films, definitely not doing, um, Chain of Memories, because I, I just I don't like Chain of Memories. It's, like, without a doubt, my least favourite Kingdom Hearts game. It's just... no. Now, I believe that we uh, did this when we were with Terra. Um, but we're doing it with them now. Um, you do a couple of rounds with it. Both times, you know, you want to beat um, Perk in terms of how many you get. Um, but it's a lot easier when you've got some pretty decent magic on you. Because you can just cause chaos. Huh? Ah, Phil. Not actually doing much other than, you know, just looking. So, I mean, there's a few other things you can do, because you can, like, ride on the barrels and so on and so forth. But as you can see, I found a pretty good thing here with uh, Zero Gravira. Basically, the, the awesome thing is, is that Zero Gravira is basically powerful enough to destroy a lot of the, uh, the urns in one shot. So, rather than um, trying to do... If you had uh, Zero Gravity, however, it wouldn't work so much. But Zero Gravira and Graviga are powerful enough to just obliterate in one shot. So they're definitely recommended in terms of destroying multiple ones at once, and really that's how you get higher than her, is having these sort of more arena destroying attacks, which allow you to obliterate more than one urn in a shot. And I don't know why I bothered with uh, Akira there, there was absolutely no need, um, but there we go. But as you can see, Hook really, really does not stand a chance. I think there is a little bit of rubber banding that the AI can do, because um, as you saw he did catch up quite quickly. But, once again, there is no way in hell he's going to catch me up. <laughs> I'm basically just in this to succeed for myself, really. Like, see how high I can go in this destructive pattern. So I've got over 115. Quite proud of that. So the question is, can I get over 200? before the end of this. Probably not likely, thanks to that daze, um, but the closer that I can get, the better, really, and oh, come on. Oh, I was one away. Oh, my pride took a little bit of a beating there. I mean, not really, I won, that was the whole point of it. Still. More than anything. See, my father is Zeus, the king of the gods, up on Olympus. Whoa! Herc, you're a god? No, no, I'm mortal. When I was a baby, somebody stole me from my parents and figured out how to take away my godhood. And this true hero thing? It's the only way I can become a god again. If I become a true hero, I can rejoin my father and go back to Olympus. Wow. I guess you really got your work cut out for you. But what about you? How come you're here? Uh, I'm... I'm just trying to make some friends. Well, hey, you've done that already. Huh? 
Come on, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> you bet, Herc. All right, you bunch of rookies. It's time we go over the rules of the game, so listen up. All the matches are divided into two brackets, one for the East and one for the West. Winners from each bracket go head-to-head -head in the championship match. Now, I signed you two up for the West, because they already got a heavy hitting contender cleaning up over there in the East bracket. And if you want to beat them, you're going to have to hustle in there. Now, move those sandals. Heavy hitting contender? Ben! Come on! Uh, okay! Guess we made it. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Ven. Good. The other kid will be happy to hear that. No, I need you most of all, Phil. How else am I going to become a hero? Huh, about time you got it. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Of course not. Holding a grudge wouldn't be very heroic. Hey, just making sure. You're not a hero yet. <laughs> True. <laughs> This is really close. Hey, we got huh? trouble! There's monsters loose in town, and if they gate crash the games, you can forget about the match. Real monsters? We have to stop them. Leave the monsters to me. This match is too important. So, uh, yes, quite quickly, really, we, um, are rushed into the, the final boss of this world, and it's not really a boss, it's just these jelly shades that, to be fair, aren't really doing a whole lot, like, they, they just sort of, they exist. If you manage to get Thunder Roll by this point, then you can actually obliterate them pretty quickly without putting yourself your at much risk no way I could let my friend fight alone and uh, well, that's quite nice and helpful I'm gonna be come on let's finish this together and also you've got Herc on your side as well so really there's just no need to worry about this fight whatsoever but yeah just if you've got Thunder Roll, just Thunder Roll your way through this thing. Um, use a Thunderbolt. Um, every now and again, you'll get that ability to team up with Herc. And yeah, like, this just could not be any easier. <laughs> and you get a nice. A nice whack of um, experience points out of it as well, but uh, that's basically the end of Olympus Coliseum. We just have a nice, nice long cutscene now, and finally we get an air slide. Thank Sorry God for that. Lose that match, Herc. Oh, come on, you don't have to apologize. It was totally my decision. Uh. What? You didn't save any for me? Hey, you're here. Hey, I've set my sights on being a hero, too. I just don't run as fast, that's all. So you both threw the match? Who won, then? I left first, so it's not me. Yeah, but I was only seconds behind you. Still. Hey, I never said I coached the winner. All I said was I'd see the match, then decide. Look, being a hero takes more than just muscle. You gotta have heart and care about people. And sure, you both get high marks for that, but this time only one of you cared fast enough, and that makes all the difference. Then that means... Oh, man! I was this close! <sighs> well, that's life. I never really introduced myself. 
The name's Zack. Congratulations, Herc. Thanks, Zack. Yeah, well, we'll see if you're still thanking him when I'm through with you. You got a long road ahead of you, champ. Hey, don't count me out. I've still got plenty of big dreams to go with my lousy luck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, be honest. You weren't really gonna stop training Herc, were you? Nah, of course not. I know that kid's gonna go the distance, but he was stuck in a rut. He just needed a little... incentive. It's, uh, Ventus, right? Well, thanks to you, Herc here is really shaped up. I owe you. Nah, I'm glad. I made a really good friend. Somebody to share a laugh with. Like Terra and Aqua. We'll patch things up. You're leaving? Yeah. My journey's not over yet. But you'll visit, right? I'll stop by once you're a true hero. Stop by once me and him are both heroes. Oh. So you mean never come back? Hey, watch it! Aw, <laughs> 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 oh, weren't that sweet? <laughs> See, that's why I do really like um, Ven's visit to an Epsco Coliseum. It's just nice and wholesome and lovely and all that jazz and uh, I'm probably going to stick with Frog Claim actually um, just have that extra bit of magic power because it's, it's kind of worth it on Ven because you want to be a little bit more level in terms of your moves um, that said I'm probably going to make some terrible decisions about what I'm about to do because I'm going into you know level things up but I'm removing, well at least I believe I'm going to remove Zero Gravir and it's just going to make this next thing a little bit challenging because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Urn Challenge again because obviously beating the Urn Challenge after you've beaten Olympus Coliseum means that you get Sonic Blade and Sonic Blade is like completely beast so really you kind of want it so uh, Definitely gonna go for it, and also, you know, whilst I'm at it, I might as well just meld a whole bunch of commands and see what pops out at the other end. Hopefully, you know, some amazingly powerful bits of magic or attack. Eh, deep, deep freezes, that's alright. And that's not too exciting either, you know, this was a bit of a, bit of a, ugh. I don't think I needed another leaf bracer, god damn it. Oh well, I'll level it up anyway. Well, I might have needed a leaf bracer, I don't even know at this point. I just get so lost with where I am with my abilities. Really, all I should do is just sit down, figure it out, and go from there. It's what I'm going to end up doing in Aqua Story, really, but still. Anyway. We have, I believe, less time than we did in um, the last time we did this. Although, it might be the same amount of time because it's giving me my high score of 199. Um, I can tell you now, I don't think I'm going to get to 199 in uh, this particular round. As you can see, Zero Gravity not as powerful as Zero Gravira. Obviously. So it uh, just isn't going to destroy these guys as quickly as it probably should. So I'm going to end up kind of not doing quite so well. Um, and also Herc is going to cause me to stutter every now and again. Um, but there is a Zero Gravir in there so that will certainly help. A little bit. I mean, there's no way I'm not going to win this. It's just I'm not gonna, you know, beat my high score, which is a really nice high score, and I'm really quite proud of that one. Fingers crossed, you know, when I come back to do this with Aqua, um, I'm able to do even better because that would be pretty awesome if you ask me. Fire. 
and yeah, this, this could be going a bit better, but um, oh well, there's no way it's going to catch up to me now, so I'm getting a good old helping of Sonic Blade. Thank you kindly, and now I'm going to quit, and uh, I think just just muck around a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got all of those, which is good. I um, want to make sure I've put all my stickers in. Finally, I realised that that was still there and I hadn't made use of it. Um, covering up Queen Minnie, though, so that's probably not the smartest of places to put it, but still. I can't, don't think I'm going to get much higher than that right now. Yeah, I'm going to try it, but it, it's clearly not going to succeed. Oh well. These things happen, and... Uh, Oh, that was quite an easy one to place. That's just shove it up in the up in the air on the other side. Just have to be a little bit more specific with its location. No, come on. There we go. That's a bit better. This is looking like even more of a hodgepodge than it did before. But it got us collision magnet, so that's quite awesome. And that is a uh, a new move that I'm not sure whether I actually used with Terra. So uh, if I do end up using that, that should actually be quite fun. And yeah, this is just this is just a mess, really. <laughs> I began with stucker stuckers stickers. I began with stickers, and so I end with stickers. I think it's because I got it in my head that because obviously I'd had such an issue with Terra at the beginning, well, at the end of his one, that I just thought I want to get it perfect now, and then I don't have to worry about it later. But, uh, yeah, it just didn't end up happening quite so well, and I ended up wasting a whole bunch of time on things that didn't matter. Still, are we going to purchase anything from here? Maybe, maybe not. No, that's fine. We're just going to save up and then head on to the next world. It's going to be great. <laughs>